Good morning. Uh... Uh, Sri-, Sri Lanka is high potential. You would have seen it uh, when uh, we just won the war. After war, in 2009, uh, people came from all over the world. We have we we had uh, too much for demand. In 2012, uh, from 2009 to 2012, every year we had over 40 percent increases in arrival. Um, uh, but what happened thereafter? For continuity, we didn't have a good marketing mechanism working to get the best benefits of the country. Uh, Sri Lanka is, uh, in my opinion, considered one of the best players in the world for an explorer who, uh, uh, who would like to explore a country where we having tropical weather. To look at uh, our cultural and heritage aspects to the Sri Lanka being uh, having a rich history of over 2,600 years uh, um, and nice landscapes um, right throughout the country from some of the best tea plantations in the world uh, from and Sri Lanka considers only second to um, uh, second to Africa for wildlife parks there's so much uh, on offer for uh, a for a real explorer, having great opportunities, uh, we are missing at the moment since we are not, we do not have a uh, marketing uh, marketing mechanism uh, in operation to portray Sri Lanka um, to the discerning holiday maker. Well, at, at the present, we are we are uh, we are handling it well. Um, I know there is a tremendous increase in growth uh, in tourist arrivals. Um, how we have managed up to now is uh, um, uh, having people who have worked in Sri, having Sri Lankans working in all other countries returning home and uh, using their knowledge and expertise. Um, having more intakes to uh, hotel schools uh, uh, that were all already available and uh, most of the uh, seasoned hoteliers having their own, uh, own training sections own is training sections and ultimately uh, they absorb them into their permanent cadres um, so that's how at the moment that we have uh, managed but we uh, definitely need more hotel schools and training institutions to uh, give uh, a better output to the industry Sigur Jangal is, uh, is in the center of the cultural triangle. We, uh, we, we looked at the location first and wanted to build this beautiful place uh, in the right center of the cultural triangle and we were very lucky to uh, um, uh, build this place where, we, uh, where it is most convenient to visit all the highlights in the cultural triangle. Um, the idea of uh, the idea of uh, Sigil Jungles uh, was to uh, build a place, uh, build, build, build in uh, indoor and outdoor leisure places with uh, with a Sri Lankan uh, touch to give a foreign visitor a, a real Sri Lankan experience when they are living, when they are on holiday in Sri Lanka. When we're talking to our architect, uh, uh, Mr. Vinod Jaisinga, uh, a very pro- uh, eminent uh, personality, uh, we spoke about um, living spaces, especially in a, in a place like in the Cultural Triangle, with the, when the atmosphere, the surroundings are very natural, to give our client, to give the potential client. Uh, a unique experience. We built this place uh, for them to experience every moment, since from the time that they walk into the hotel, walk into their individual rooms, uh, to offer them unique indoor and outdoor living spaces. 
and um, Sri Lankan experiences. Uh, you will listen to a lot of Sri Lankan music, uh, so to so that we could offer a typical Sri Lankan experience. Uh, well, we have we are high potential. Sri Lanka is one of the places that could uh, rise uh, rise uh, in, in in numbers uh, uh, immediately. But we need to shape up certain few things. One 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 important thing at the moment is the most important thing is the marketing. We need to uh, uh, place a real marketing plan in place and uh, action it. And if we so so that we will get the real the the, the, the real tourist numbers from uh, the potential markets for Sri Lanka. Thank you very much.